It's been just over a year since Jack Doherty has been streaming on Kick, and since then he has terrorized strangers in public. This is unfair, I didn't do anything wrong. His security assaulted someone at a Halloween party. Oh. He got a girl to flash his stream with minors in the chat. He recorded himself hitting baseballs off a skyscraper. <laughs> They were actually tennis balls. And because of all this, people have been actively asking for his deplatforming for months. There were petitions for his removal for inappropriate content and countless critics calling for his downfall. Today, we're shooting spitballs at Jack Doherty. But he always remained unfazed, that is, until recently. Now, if you go into his kick channel, his page has been removed and he was spotted recently begging for gifts on TikTok Live. But what exactly happened? How did he go from being one of the top streamers on kick to begging for money on Online. Everyone uh, double tap the screen. We're almost at a million likes, guys. Let's see how fast we can hit it. Let's see how fast we can hit it. I hydroplane. I literally hydroplane. I'm in a McLaren in the pouring rain. What do you expect? You guys have never drove a McLaren. Do you know how much of a degenerate you need to be to get banned on kick? Well, that's exactly what happened to Jack Doherty. There are people who have committed felonies on kick who still have that platform. There are even kick streamers who straight up assaulted people live who haven't even seen the inside of a ban. But here we have Jack Doherty who has been permanently banned on kick after he got into a life-threatening accident during an IRL stream. But when it comes to Jack Doherty and his lunacy, I've talked the story to death, so I'm gonna get one of my colleagues to help bring you up to speed. Jack Doherty. Some people know him as the kick streamer who likes to hide behind his security, others as the pimp who likes to coerce underage girls into becoming OnlyFans girls. But we all know him as the internet's biggest menace. You see, Jack Doherty started off, like most people, with humble beginnings. He was born in Long Island, New York, and he started out on YouTube attempting to copy Dude Perfect style challenge videos, doing bottle flipping, and recording himself doing backflips. He idolized the Paul brothers and he even tried to meet them in a vlog. But as soon as he got to 100,000 subs, that's when his prank era started pretending to smash phones in the Apple store, trying to get people's attention at the mall, and this led to him becoming a guest on the Dr. Phil show. He posted on YouTube weekly until he got a strike on his channel, then he decided to focus his attention on TikTok and then IRL streams. And you can probably guess what happened from there. Well, probably good oh! Oh! Oh, shoot. There's something that I've noticed when it comes to people on kick, popular kick streamers. It's like they all have the same circle of destruction. And let me show you what I mean. Neon, Fusi, Jack Doherty, it's all the same. First comes the origin story. Then they start getting popular and they start ramping up their content a little bit. Oh! Oh, shoot. They get banned on Twitch or demonetized on YouTube, so they move to Kick. And there they continue to cross the line for subs and attention until they get banned and the cycle starts all over again. It seems like it's been a long time coming, but Jack Doherty is finally seeing some consequences. Remember the bodyguard that punched out somebody at a birthday party I talked about earlier? Well, Jack Doherty is being sued for that altercation, and now it seems like the platform that he has called his home kick has turned his back on him and he's permanently banned. He's done so many things. He didn't get banned for hosting a fight club on his channel. He didn't get banned for showing nudity on his stream. Right, Let's ready? go. Let's yes. Play. Ooh, is it good? But he did get banned for crashing his McLaren on the highway during a rainstorm. On October 7th, 2024, Jack Doherty was driving on the highway, reading his kick chat, when he lost control of his car and collided into a guardrail. Oh! Oh! No! 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 His car was completely total. He was uninjured, but his cameraman suffered some head trauma, to which Jack didn't really seem concerned about. Bro, my whole fucking car, bro. No fucking way. And people on the highway came to his aid and tried to get him out of the vehicle, but his primary focus was just to continue filming. Help! No, my car, bro. Vamos, baby. Vamos. Oh. Dude, my car. Holy shit, no. Are you kidding me, bro? No. Mike, are you good?
even after he saw that his cameraman was bleeding, he told him to continue holding the camera while he played up how bad he felt about his car wreck. Michael here. Michael. Did you have film on that phone too? Actually, it was a brand new $200,000 car that he only got last year. One year ago, buying a McLaren at 19 years old. Three days ago, I crashed my McLaren. Look at the lack of concern he has for his cameraman and how much he's trying to milk the situation for his stream and for his YouTube video. Do you guys have anything else you need me to get out of the car? Do you want to take that shit so he doesn't have to? You're Wait, let him, let him have that, let him have that. Let him, let him have that, and then we can like, can you just... I think you're going to do not think this is going to be happening today. Me neither. All right, guys, my McLaren is totaled a couple days before my 21st birthday. I never comment on things like this, but what the F? You got into a car crash because you were texting and driving, and all you were worried about was your car and making sure you got good ankles? Didn't want to make sure your friend was good first? Terrible human being. This guy deserves jail time. Honestly, couldn't believe what I watched when I made it to the end of this video. I'm not a fan of cancel culture, but this kid needs to be demonetized from every platform imaginable at bare minimum. He did go to the hospital to visit his cameraman, but really it seemed like he just wanted to make more videos for Twitter. That was so scary. It smoked up so fast. Like, how did that happen, dude? I don't know. Bro, if you think about it, full tank of gas, like, we would have been exploded. Oof. I don't know. Because my, my tank was empty. Like, it literally was at, like, 20 miles left. And then also, on top of that, we, don't, we crashed, like, 42 miles per hour. He's actively getting stitches. You think you can put the camera down for two seconds? Many people thought that he did this for attention, and he did it on purpose. Well, it's really not that hard to believe, mainly because he flips vehicles all the time. Golf carts. While his girlfriend is in the passenger seat, ATVs. He has a history of poor vehicle management. In this McLaren situation, he explains that this wasn't his fault because the car hydroplaned. How'd you crash your car? I hydroplaned. I literally hydroplaned. I'm in a McLaren in the pouring rain. What do you expect? You guys have never drove a McLaren. See, hydroplaning is what happens when your tires drive over wet pavement or standing water and you lose contact with the road surface, which results in loss of traction and the inability to steer your car. So for Jack, the mistake that he made was because of the speed he was going at max torque while crossing over a bridge median during a rainstorm. And that, with the combination of his slick tires and turning in the opposite direction of the hydroplane, is the main reason he got into an accident. But none of that really matters because in the video he was staring at his phone, he got into an accident, and that was enough for Kick to permanently ban him. Jack Doherty has been accused of a lot of different crimes. Business crimes. And there's also the embezzlement. Actually, I interviewed one of his ex-employees who accused him of stealing money from the people that he managed and embezzlement. The girl never sees the amount that's in that account. Jack's name has nothing to do with that bank account. He pays himself through her account. And um, he, you know, just does what he wants with the money. Then he pays out the girl through when, it, when he gets it. And then the IRS will one day come to these girls and be like, hey, where's all that money? A huge accusation that went unchecked. But this is the very first time that he's being held accountable for his actions with a permanent ban. So now that Jack can't stream, what is he doing? Well, he's using the attention on his tweets to promote his OnlyFans. Remember, he still manages a team of OnlyFans girls and he takes 100% of their revenue and he pays them out in salary, allegedly. And oh right, he seems to be begging for gifts on TikTok. Everyone uh, double tap the screen, we're almost at a million likes, guys. Let's see how fast we can hit it. Let's see how fast we can hit it. James Ellis, thank you for the galaxy, bro. I just followed you back. Guys, let's see how fast we can hit my galaxy. Oh, I'm gonna follow everyone back once we hit it. Appreciate y'all. Cole with the galaxy, thank you, Cole. I appreciate it. Thank you, Aiden, for following live creator. It's unknown whether or not he will return to kick or try his luck on Twitch or YouTube streaming, but if that happens, it doesn't seem like he would be able to stay within their guidelines for very long. All right, guys, so my filmer Michael just got back and now I'm gonna surprise him with his new jet ski. A few days ago, Jack Doherty is still trying to milk the situation by surprising his friend with a new jet ski as an apology. You're a legend, I'm sorry oh, for uh, 
putting you through that much. Huh? Oh my god. <laughs> he doesn't even really get through the apology. But no one is having it in the comment section. And now he just gifted him an effing toy so he doesn't get sued. You know what you need, Jack? To get off social media. Bro, we all saw it. His face was busted open and you shoved the camera to him and made him film. You can't justify that. The city of Florida has even issued a citation to Jack Doherty for being on his phone while driving. Any questions? Yeah. What's on my phone? Innocent to proven guilty, I guess. Yep. No, okay. Hey, have a nice, have a nice day. day, man. Thank you, man. Thank you everyone for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, leave me a comment down below. Leave me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new and be sure to tune in next time.